What's up, Bravo.com? Welcome to week two of Two Girl for School. It's opening week. <gasps> We're about to open the show. Um, very excited. Really, really excited. We've been working on it. We're ready. We're ready to open this puppy up and yeah, I think it's gonna be really awesome. Um, just trying to stay calm through the madness. I have my mug, my corgi mug. I don't have a dog of my own, but I have this mug, so that's close. Um, anyway, on this episode, you're gonna see opening night, or what I can capture of it, um, some backstage stuff, our dressing room, but most importantly, you'll see us open Mean Girls on Broadway at the August Wilson, and that's gonna be pretty freaking awesome. So just trying to stay calm. Cordy on. Love you all. Thanks for watching. What's up, Broadway.com? I thought I would show you my, uh, yeah, they're my, these are my, um, stimulation classes. <laughs> they, <laughs> that's what they're called. It's to help you deal with light. Ow, oh. <laughs> They help oh my relax God. my eyes because we They're have so many lights. She's out. C2, C2, C2. Oh, wow. <laughs> so they calm you and see how there's little holes in them? They help you like settle your eyes so when you go back out on stage with all the stimulus, you don't get super tense. Who bought you this? I'm my voice teacher, Andrew Byrne. Plug! <laughs> how do you feel on those? can't see. <laughs> That's the <laughs> point. It's like how horses wear those things over their faces. Not a horse! Ladies and gentlemen, this is your half hour call. We gotta go! Oh my god, I'll never be ready! <laughs> I'll never be ready, and I won't be rushed. Oh, dang it! Oh, are you here? Oh, she's here. She's here. <laughs> the best thing that's ever happened. The best thing that ever could happen is happening at the August Wilson right now. <gasps> Lily! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! She's like a little piggy mixed with a little cat with a little potato. Oh. Oh. I don't have a beard either. Oh my god, I love you so much. Oh, 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 she's like, okay, really small. Some people have asked to see mine in Taylor Latterman's dressing room. So I'm going to show you around a little bit our home away from home. Um, let's start with the costumes. All right, so that's Regina right there. See all that pink? That's a lot of pink. And then here's Katie, all the flannel. I have four different flannels. Pink, flannels. Pink, flannels. My mathlete's varsity letter jacket. Um, it's my favorite because I never had one of these in high school, even though I tried every sport possible. Um, I never got one, but I got one now for math, which is also laughable because I was not very good at math either. Um, but my favorite thing about it is our wonderful costume team, Greg Barnes, let us choose our numbers. So I got my lucky number 13. Let me give you the full view. Our friend Steph Kane designed, designed it. She did a cool like Katie meets Regina because we have pink, but then also some tribal prints going on. So it's like, you know, if Katie and Regina were to coexist peacefully, which we do, what would that place look like? And it's our dressing room. Um, this is where people leave little messages to us, to Taylor and I. Nice things like zebra poop, stuff like that. Gray Henson wrote that, he's really nice. But then Mary Mitchell Campbell, who is the best music director in the world, leaves sweet notes like this. We love you, Mary Mitchell. This is my elefante, um, Taylor Louderman gave me this. Uh, I keep it on my dressing room table because I make my first entrance behind an elephant butt in Mean Girls on Broadway and I like to have this little guy um, just to remind me that things are getting kind of crazy and overwhelmingly awesome but sometimes you still make your Broadway leading lady entrance behind an elephant butt. So 
to be grounded. We have lots of goodies over here. Ooh, amazing blue because Taylor and I went to the same college. We both went to University of Michigan, what, what? This is one of my favorite sayings, be the buffalo. And it basically is the idea that um, buffalo, when there's a storm coming, they run into the storm instead of away from it. And so things that are scary to me, like sometimes doing this show can be kind of scary. Um, I just try to be the buffalo and remember that, you know, if I just face it head on, I'll come out the other side and it will be awesome. That's my dressing room. Um, you'll be in here a lot with me and Taylor. Taylor and I, sorry, grammar. Ladies and gents, welcome to segment one of Little Boot Couch. This is not episode. Featuring. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Welcome to the to Little Blue Couch. What are we going to talk about today, guys? Feelings. Shall we get into position? Come on, ladies. Let's get information. Uh, okay, baby. Come I on. just, I don't know, Gray. What don't you know? What's it all about? Uh, the musical? Where, where did I, I got gifts. Oh, they're from Kyle. <laughs> I just, I give these gifts, and I just feel like there's nothing... That was such a turn. genuine moment, I didn't see those. Do I have to wait for opening? This is not up? going well. Oh, sorry. So, what's wrong? So, what's wrong? You give gifts, and you feel like I no just, one's going to give you gifts? It's just, two days before opening, Kyle. Like, you got to wait until opening. So, I just should be patient? Honestly, why are you so sweaty? Am I? <laughs> this is entry one of Latimer Lingo. Okay, hi. Welcome to Latimer Lingo. I got this book because I want to up my game in vocabulary. So these are 500 words you should know. And today's first word for the week is derisory. An adjective applied to a very small amount, often but not necessarily of money. It's connected with derision and is therefore such a small amount that it deserves to be laughed at. Okay. Can you use it in a real life situation, please? Yeah, that's the only okay. way you can, you know how to apply it. I'll, I'll follow you around until we find, okay. you know, something. Yeah. Hey, guys. Oh, hey. Okay, hey. Do you, um, did you get one of the candles from downstairs? Yeah, I got, I got one of those candles. How much do you think they cost? Oh, I don't know. They were a gift. Yeah, it's a, probably such a derisory amount. <laughs> this has been episode one! Take your fur and get video. ready for the show. <laughs> you know who you look like? Cuella de Vil. Cuella <laughs> de Vil. <laughs> or you look like um, <laughs> Meryl Streep and Devil Wears Prada. <laughs> What's up, Broadway.com? Um, we have a brigade of people right now parading to go meet my dog. <laughs> Theo. Theo Henningsen, who is making an appearance, <laughs> we hope, right now at the August Wilson. <laughs> Theo. There he is! Theo! <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it! Hi, Joy. Oh my god, it's the love of your life. <laughs> Quickly, guys, one word from all of you, one sound about how you feel about opening. Ah! Joy. Truth. Finally! Oh. <laughs> Woo! Ah! <laughs> yeah! Yes! Ah! Y'all, it's opening. There are flowers. There are gifts. There's some alcohol that I definitely need to consume later. But most importantly, it's opening night, and we are ready. We have the gypsy robe ceremony coming up. You'll get a little sneak peek at that. And then we're gonna go to the party. I'm so excited to party. I love you all. First, I would like to invite all of those actors who are making their Broadway debut tonight. Yeah! 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 Yeah!
the gypsy, still wearing the robe, then visits all the dressing rooms, and the show is blessed. Yay! Yay! Of Jeremy Davis, it is my great pleasure to present the Gypsy Robe for Mean Girls to Brendan. Two Girl for School. We opened the show. I just woke up and took a shower. It's it's been a day. Um, I have no idea what's gonna happen next week. Oh, we're recording the cast album. We're recording the cast album. That's gonna be pretty freaking cool. Uh, so tune in for that. This has been the most amazing week ever with the greatest group of people. I'm so happy I was able to take you behind the scenes and I'll see you next week. Mwah! Bye!